Hello guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Naomi Victoria if you're new and today I am very excited. If you can't tell, I can't stop smiling. I am doing a bedroom makeover video. Okay, so I'm going to show you the before of my bedroom. As you can probably tell, it's very white. That is the overarching theme of my room, just plain white. Kind of looks like a doctor's surgery, very much looks like it needs an injection of personality. And there's also a few bits that's like the scuffs on the wall, there's bits of the wall that are kind of coming off and need touching up. So it just needs a makeover. It needs a loving spruce up and an injection of personality. By the way, I'm not going to talk much in this intro at all. I talk quite a lot in this video, but I just have a few things that I wanted to say. So first of all, I'm a self self-obsessed, no, self-confessed Pinterest addict. So I have been working on a bit of a budget for this, but that has meant that I've been browsing Pinterest for inspiration and I've come across a few DIYs that I really wanted to do. So I'm going to do those in this video. Also, if you're new, make sure you subscribe down below. And if you like these kind of room makeover videos, I actually have another one coming in the next few weeks, that maybe like in a month's time when this project is finally finished, I have basically got another room which has been built from the ground up. It's going to be my office, so that will be exciting. You can come along to the shops with me, buy all the furniture and stuff like that. That's coming in a few weeks' time. But in the meantime, I hope you enjoy this bedroom makeover video. Let's get started. Okay, so I'm in b and I'm squeaking along the floor. I've put my new shoes on from Zara, especially for the occasion. So I've got my little samples. These are Val Spa, Canyon Hush, and Battlefield. You guys helped me choose these on Instagram. And I've just found this one's kind of similar with Dulux, and it's called Blush Pink. But then I've got the sample pot here. This sounds so boring, honestly. <laughs> it's too, too light. So I'm going to see if I can find these ones. This is actually really aesthetic. Okay guys, I have a bit of an issue. The original colour that I came to get, Canyon Hush, I'm holding it against all, look at all these pinks by the way. Um, I'm holding it against all of the pink colours and it looks kind of orangey skin toned. So now I'm thinking about changing it to more of a pink tone and there's just so many to choose from so I just feel like I'm going to be here all night. First bit of colour going on, I'm actually very pleased with the colour I've chosen. It's a nice dusky and it's not too dark is it dad yeah it's lovely like ice cream yeah it does look like ice cream actually okay so my dad is just about to prime my wall fill in all the gaps and stuff ready to be painted everything in my bedroom is currently under i'm stood this side everything is under this blanket in the middle and um, my bed my units everything and it reminds me of in friends does any of you guys remember when joey had the boxes to make it look like a sports car um that's what it's reminding me of but that's my walls and the next time you see them they will be pink <laughs> you look like a baby down on the floor Okay guys, the mirror is up in all of its minimal glory. I think I'm going to put something up here because it's pretty plain. Is this going to focus? Hello. Um, but yeah, I actually love it. If I stand here and kind of wave my arms around, it is more wide angle than I thought. Actually, you can pretty much see everything. Also, I can just stand like this and do some Instagram poses, I guess. Um, but it will be especially good just to actually see what I look like in the morning because I haven't had a mirror, as I said. So yes, super, super happy. Can't stop doing that now. I'm gonna stop. <laughs> Okay, so my next project is to paint my new ladder. And I picked this up in Ikea the other day. They had it on display as a ladder, but it's actually meant to be part of a unit. As you can see, it's got the little holes there. Um, so I'm going to paint this. I've been hanging my bags off of it this week, and I'm also going to hang my bed throws on it as well. I think it's super aesthetic, very Pinterest, and I think it totally works. It was a complete bargain. It was only 12 pounds. So yes, very happy.
Okay, I got these two bits in Primark the other day. I've got a throw and a cushion cover. The cushion cover is like the softest velvet and this was £2.50. And guys, can you tell that I like velvet? Matches my little home sense poof there. So, so nice. And I got this throw. This was actually called a small throw, but it's pretty big and it's super soft and fuzzy. Um, I've got this to do a DIY project, which you will see in a little bit, but basically I'm going to use it as a cover for my headboard because I got my headboard about a year ago and ever since then I just really don't like it at all and it's got diamantes and I just, I just don't like it. So I'm going to cover it with this throw. And then I have these prints from Decenio or Decenio. Um, so I've got this small one. I got, I made these on the collage um, bit of the website. And I think I've shown you guys these before. I might have shown them on my Instagram, but I've got this S. This is actually from a building in Miami, which is called Tropics. And I have the full sized version of this picture upstairs, but I don't have a frame for it. And love neon signs as you can tell, and coffee is my favorite drink. So I got this coffee one. I really want to get a black and white Kurt Cobain photo as well to kind of go with this one. Then I have these two larger ones, which are basically just where I wanna be right now. I wanna be at this villa in the sun. It's raining outside, I'm literally freezing. Um, so these are either gonna go above my bed or above my mirror. Fun fact, even though I have a million pens in this house, I couldn't find one, so I'm actually using a liquid eyeliner to mark the walls. Grafty. <laughs> the heck? Guys, I knew this wall was a thick one. I'm using masonry nails, but it's so thick, I've gone and bust the nail, look. Okay, this is officially the thickest wall ever. This second nail just broke off as I was hammering it, so I think I need to go and get some hooks. Okay, so I just went out and got some command picture hooks, which I've used before, and they worked, thank goodness. And I've already hung up the S, it looks really good, it's not wonky at all. Okay guys, I've got my headboard and I'm just draping my throw over and it fits. I'm so happy and I'm just going to pull the bits around at the side, secure them at the back and it's basically made a brand new headboard. It's so soft. This is like the best hack ever. <laughs> Okay, so I've got my staple gun and I don't own any safety goggles, but I do have my dad's very fetching, very focals. Guys, I don't want to be tooting my own horn too much here, but how good does my headboard look? Oh my actual goodness, it has completely transformed it. It looks so good, oh my gosh, I'm so happy. This is like the easiest DIY ever, and it just looks so good. You guys have to try this. So I've just gone ahead and fixed two of these little felt bits to the top of the ladder so that when it leans against the wall, it's not going to make any marks because I'm not actually fixing it against the wall. If I can do this one-handed, like that. Perfect. You don't have to wake up yet. Oh, we can spend all day I'll put the TV in the room. We'll have a Netflix. 
Okay guys, I've just had a delivery from Amazon. I ordered these pillowcases last night. They were under £10 for two satin pillowcases. And I just wanted to show you guys, the packaging is really cute. I really like these graphics on the front. And satin pillowcases basically just help to not snag my hair as much. And also I sleep on my front. So um, my skin gets a bit pulled as well. So these kind of reduce all of that. So let's pop these on. Also, don't they just look lovely like I went for the color bone white so it's off-white and it just kind of makes me feel like I'm sleeping in a hotel room when I have these on guys I wish you could reach through your screen and feel how soft this throw is I got this in either my December or January FabFit fun box and it's by a brand called Unhide for Love Not Fair. It's faux fur, obviously. It's just literally the softest thing ever. Genuinely feels like stroking my cat. So I got this plant in Ikea, it comes in a little pot and this beautiful vase for £6 from Primark and all I'm going to do is just pull the plant out and it looks like this underneath, it has this little like point <laughs> underneath, sorry I'm being immature and then this gravel section here so it's the perfect size to fit into my vase and it's gone from like ugly duckling to a beautiful swan that can go up on one of my shelves and have it hanging down. Okay guys, I was in Primark the other day and I found this little chest of drawers for £10. It's wooden. I don't know what I'm going to use it for yet, however, I'm not so keen on the colouring. So I'm going to paint it white and then hopefully tomorrow I'll be able to find some gold to paint these little drawer pulls with as well. Oh, I can't reach at all. It, Sorry. Um, Your dressing gown matches the curtains, Dad. Yeah. As you can see, the curtains are way too long at the moment, so I'm actually going to take them up to about here, but I'm not doing that today, so they'll be long for the moment. I was told it was urgent. Come see me tonight. In the sack we're flirting, and we dance for hours. She knew
and that was everything for the video guys i really really hope you enjoyed that video and i can go and enjoy my bedroom finally because literally with it being so white and stark it was causing like to be honest being in there was just horrible and i could not relax and i feel like now i can go in and fully relax and have that nice little netflix fire thing on the fireplace and just read a book which is something i haven't even done in ages so i feel like i need a clear nice warming space to just clear my mind and relax so i do hope you've enjoyed that make sure to follow me on instagram i'll leave the link down below i'll also link as much as i can from this video if there's anything that you saw that you liked the look of and yeah as i mentioned at the beginning of this video as well i've got another makeover video coming very soon which is going to be a completely different style um to my bedroom it's going to look nothing like my bedroom so make sure you subscribe down below have the little notification bell tapped so you don't miss out on that and i will see you guys very soon bye everyone